New Corvette was far more successful than the original, but sales began to fall off by 1988. As the American economy stumbled, all sports and luxury models felt the pinch. Once again, rumors spread about the Corvette's demise. GM's engineers responded by setting their sights on creating a better car than the Europeans. With the help of Lotus, the famed British racing and engineering firm, the ZR1 Corvette became a production reality in 1990. The so-called King of the Hill featured a specially produced four-cam, four valves per cylinder V8 engine called the LT5. It provided high performance, long-term durability, and improved fuel economy. In early March of 1990, Tommy Morrison and seven other endurance drivers attempted to find out what the ZR1 could do. They set out to challenge what was called the Mount Everest of motordom, the 24-hour, 5,000-mile land speed record. The drivers knew that many had tried to beat the record before, and all had failed. It was a grueling test for the drivers and the cars they drove into the night. As the sun rose, they knew that they were getting close. Three hours later, they had established a new 24-hour record of over 175 miles an hour, almost 15 miles faster than the old record. Unfortunately, the ZR1 $66,000 price tag didn't attract enough buyers, and this specialty model was dropped. But the ZR1's success had rubbed off on the stock Corvettes, and a huge milestone was reached on July the 2nd, 1992. The one millionth Corvette rolled off the Bowling Green assembly line. Chevrolet executives put some fears to rest when they announced that they were committed to building a new Corvette. 